This problem is asking us for the maximum wind velocity that we can land in with a 30 degree crosswind and a 12 knot maximum crosswind component. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw a line down the 30 degree line indicating the 30 degree crosswind. Then I'm going to draw a line up from the 12 knot crosswind component. So here's 10, 11, 12 line straight up from here. And we can see that where we intercept here is going to be the maximum wind velocity. So here's 10 knots, here's 20 knots, here's 25 knots. So in between this curve and this curve in the middle is going to be about 25 knots. So these are this is intercepting around 23 knots. So 23 knots would be the maximum wind velocity that this airplane could land with this crosswind. The other way we can do this using the E6B takes just about as long as using the graph. So what we'll do is in this type of problem you'll be given three answers to choose from. We kind of have to work this problem backwards with the E6B and since it's asking for the maximum wind velocity what we're going to do is we're going to start by using the wind velocity of 20 knots. We're going to use the middle number because this middle number will either be in, will either be correct or it'll be too high or too low. So if we use the middle number and the crosswind component is still below 12, then we know we can go up to the higher answer. But if the crosswind component is above 12, we know we'll have to go to the lower wind velocity. So we're going to work the problem the same way we've done with the crosswind component. So wind down to crosswind, wind. Well, we know that all it's asking for is a 30 degree crosswind component. So we know that if winds are out of 360, then winds are out of 360. If we are landing runway 30, mm -hmm. that's going to be a 30 degree difference. So 360, wind speed 20 knots, runway. Uh, Runway is 0, 03. And that's going to give us a crosswind of 10 knots. Well, this 10 knots is not the maximum because 12 is the maximum. So that tells us that the answer is going to be 24 knots. But let's go ahead and work the problem to confirm. So wind, crosswind, 360 runway wind speed 24 knots runway 3 and now we can see the crosswind component is 12 which matches the maximum crosswind component so in this case the answer would be C 24 knots